Nuts. So we have some paint ice cubes that I made ahead of time. And I made those using regular ice trays and adding a little bit of color. You can use food coloring or liquid watercolor and then just filling the rest with water and sticking them in the freezer. For mine, I stuck in some popsicle sticks to make handles, um, but you can also just make them as ice cubes. You can also freeze them in muffin tins or silicone cups or anything else that won't crack in the freezer. So you can make them however you want. And there are a couple of fun ways that you can use them. So first, I wanna show you just painting with them because painting is awesome. So I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see. And we've got all of these lovely colors that we have pre-made in the freezer. Look at that. And you can just paint with them. Now this is kind of a fun thing to do on a hot sunny day outside where it's gonna warm up your ice and have it melt faster. You can leave them in spots and see how long they take to melt. You can use them kind of like markers and draw with them. So definitely something fun to do outside when it's nice and sunny. So aside from just painting with the ice cubes, there are a couple of other really fun things that you can do with them because ice is pretty fun. So what I'm going to do now, put you down so you can see, is actually do some cool color mixing with my ice cubes. So I have my three little jars and I'm gonna try, let's see, we got this yellow one, and oop, there's a blue one. Take a little stick off, I think. Eh, maybe not. Ooh, my hands are all blue now. And I think in the second one, I'm gonna do some red and blue. Ooh, that's exciting. And in the last one, I'm gonna do some yellow and red. What do you think is gonna happen when I pour this warm water in each of these jars? Let me move these where you can see them a little bit better. There you go. I'm getting blue paint everywhere. Oh my gosh. Well, there's another fun thing to do with ice cubes. You just put them in your hands and let them melt. Ah. All right, so in this first jar, I'm gonna add the warm water. Oh my gosh, my ice cubes are melting and they are turning what color? Yellow and red make orange. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. See what happens when the blue and the red mix together. Ooh, it's tough to see, but that is definitely some purple happening there. Ooh, making a mess. And last but not least, yellow and blue. Some warm water mixed. Oh, that one's pretty. That is making a lovely shade of green. I'm actually gonna take this light that I have back here and shine behind so you guys can see better. Wow, that is so pretty. So the last sort of fun thing that you can do with your paint ice cubes is to add salt. The salt actually speeds up the melting process and it can do some pretty cool things. So I'm just kind of messing around with this in the tray. Oh, look at the cool rainbow that's happening underneath. But if you were to do this on a piece of paper, it can make some pretty interesting patterns on your paper. I'm just gonna take my little chunks out this here. These pretty colors. There we go. Okay. See how that 
changes the feeling. I can feel like the difference in the texture and the ice. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I keep kind of just messing around with it, see what it does. It's definitely melting faster than it was when it was just on the popsicle sticks when I was painting earlier. I wonder what would happen if I took like a white crayon or even any crayon and drew on the paper first and then put the painted ice cubes on top and either salted them or just let them be or just painted with them. I wonder what that would do with the crayon marks. It's something that you could definitely try and tell me how it turns out.